Blake was like really energetic and it just gave you the drive to do what you want to do and have tons of fun doing it. I think he really understands the students. He really understands what we're going through. One, two, three, four. I'm so excited by the work that I get to do because I'm coming at this work as just a regular guy. People shared experiences with me and it was so helpful. I want to give that back. The first night a first year away at university. Dude, you've got a guitar. Get in here and play us a song. So I begin to play the only chords that I learned the summer before university. Transition is just an essential topic to speak to because everyone goes through it at some point. Blake has a really unique way of connecting to the students through music, storytelling. He captures really the essence of, of first year living. And he uses some of his own personal testimonial to talk about the value of getting support from the campus community. Blake finds a way to add some fun and to make that seem like it's a regular normal thing to do to reach out for the help that's there. The funny thing about university life is that not a lot of people ask for help. You're those few people on campus who do ask for help. You will get resources, you will get perks, you will get support that others aren't getting. Give yourselves a round of applause. And it's when parents skip that whole idea of helping their students help themselves, and the parents just jump right in and try and take the situation into their own hands. That's when things get messy. Many, many parents have told me how um, encouraged they felt at the end of the presentation and how more relaxed they felt about their sons and daughters entering this new phase of their lives. Leadership doesn't have to be complicated. It's just what is the thing you want to contribute to your school community before you're out of it? I definitely would recommend it to any, anybody doing leadership and any senior teacher. You have this technology at your fingertips all the time. You can use it to make people realize that you appreciate them, you're grateful for them, and that without them, you wouldn't be who you are and where you are. Hey, Jamie, it's Blake. Can you hear me OK? Yeah. So on the count of three, you're going to hear anywhere between two and 2,000 people cheer the following words. <laughs> Okay, now, Jamie, any comments? <laughs> so I say this stuff, so I drop my guard, and then I watch it drop for everyone else. You know, it doesn't matter what campus you're from, what walk of life you're from. I think everyone finds a little bit from what Blake says, and it finds a little piece that they can take away. They come out thinking, this. This guy knows everything. He's like a guru for students, so it's fantastic. There may be thousands of people in that auditorium, yet it's like you're having a conversation with one guy. Moments before, I was a loner roaming the holes with the guitar I barely knew how to play. Now, I was in a band. If you think you're just sitting down for another speaker, you're sadly mistaken. But I need you all to join me, because if you put yourself out there a little bit at this beautiful campus, this new home of yours, you have no idea the incredible things that will come back to you. If you really want them to listen and get something out of it, I would suggest Blake. He's worth an investment. Once you see him, you'll get involved. Very humorous, very engaging, very participatory with the audience. And behind all of that is a true sincerity. And I think that's what really makes Blake stand apart from other speakers. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Good luck in this incredible place that is now home.